Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. So it seems like Eunice changed her mind about marrying Seymour. Thinking it might have something to do with that sphere we saw when we happened to uh, stumble into a room at the uh, Rin's Travel Agency. And, uh... She seems to be quite fairly tight-lipped about it, but it seems like Oren's getting a hunch about what she may be planning, but, well, even if he's got a hunch, he hasn't completely shared it with us, just just shared enough with us to let us know that we may want to be a little more on guard, uh, so that should she need to be uh, quote-unquote rescued at any point, we can uh, do our best to be there and uh, bail her out should the need arise, but... Uh, anyway... Before we head off to on our journey towards Makalania Temple, let's take care of uh, some uh, sphere gridding here, and then we'll put those uh, chocobo feathers we stole from the Cactuars last episode to use. So, anyways, first up is to this. Let's get in uh, the slow ability here. All right, and there we go. And probably no point moving them up since he won't be able to get anything else out of it. Orin, let's move him down here, give him some more HP. Looks like that's about as far as he's going to be able to move and make a difference. We'll just save those for levels for later. And then, thank you. Let's bring her down here. And some more agility. Always welcome. Here for some more strength and MP, and it looks like she's getting another ability, which is spare change. I believe how it works is just basically you can choose to throw money at the enemy, and however much you decide to throw, I believe that's how much damage it does. So, yeah. and for Yuna, let's bring her up here. Get her some more MP and magic damage, her magic stat, if you will. And then, so she can get some more boost in agility as well. Huzzah! Ooh, nice boost too. And what's she coming up on? This is... Shell! Right. MP for Waka. And some more HP. And looks like he's getting an ability as well. All the abilities, and we get Dark Buster, and I think I mentioned this with regards to the Iron Giants. Yeah, uh, Dark Buster pretty much guarantees you be able to blind an enemy as long as they are not immune to darkness, and but it only works for one turn. So, yeah. Ooh, looks like he's got another ability coming up too called Drain. Interesting. All right, and then Kamari. Looks like he's getting some more uh, stat increases towards his mage-like duties. 40 MP and uh, his boost to magic defense, and he's even going to get uh, some boost to his magic stat. It's magic jam damage. Completely, or entirely, uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then Lulu, some MP, defense, and evasion, and looks like that's pretty much all she's going to be able to get for now. And alright, so that's that. Right, let's check her stats. Tidus, Riku, Yuna. Okay, so it's gonna be Tidus, Riku, Yuna, and then let's and Waka, Kamari, and Warren Hart. There we go. All right, let's uh, make use of those chocobo feathers by putting the initiative ability on Riku's claw. She's the fastest party member in our party, first per fastest person in our party. Now she has the initi initiative ability as well, so yeah. yeah. Which means we can finally take Orin off his uh, sentry, or take the sentry off Orin. Anyways, for Titus, I want the Sonic Steel Metal Shield, that's fine. Uh, Sonar, yep, that's fine. Soft Charge, Run of Wisdom, Echo Ring, that's fine. Again, there are enemies here that can petrify you, so the Soft Ring could be an option for you, but. Uh, Kind of like in the Thunder Plains, the enemy that can petrify you is likely going to be taken out by Titus before it even gets a chance. And Waka, I want to get on the Ice Strike again. And 
Hunter, Hunter's Spear. Let's get him back on the Seeker's Armlet, since none of the enemies around here use Fire, Ice, or Lightning, so... Man, Orin, we can put him on the Thunderblade. That's fine. And, yeah. Thunder Protection is useful here, as would be Water Protection as well, so, yeah. Alright, I think we're all set. Let's heal up. And let's... Ooh, we've got a fork in the road. Uh, it's over here. Oh, hey, it's Lucia Lanelma. Lady Yuna, it is good to see you made it through safely. And, if I may, congratulations on your betrothal. Maester Seymour's people are expecting you. Take that road to go to Makalania Temple. Oh, uh, but what's over here? We've received several reports of summoners disappearing these last few days. Please be careful, my lady. Still? I thought we when took care of that. When our assignment here is done, we will be heading north. Hopefully, we will catch some chocobos and rebuild our unit. Hmm. But I must say, it's been a while. Maybe too long since we've had anything to celebrate. But I must say, hmm. maybe too... We're on watch duty at the temple at least until the wedding's done. Anyone tries to crash our party, we'll send them packing. <laughs> oh yeah, class goes back there with the chocobo. Stop and say hi if you got the time. Oh. Yeah. Next time you see us, we'll be the proud chocobo knights once again. Gotta love her enthusiasm. Next time you see us, we'll be the proud. <laughs> Yes, is it class goes down here? This road leads to Bethel. You should hurry to the temple in Makalania. Oh, yeah. All right, well, if he is down there, I guess we'll have to wait and... I guess we won't be able to talk to him yet, but anyways. All right, let's head up here, I guess. And hidden behind this tree somewhere is... A chest with a sleepy cat she. <laughs> I think that's pretty standard for guardians and a summoner, but yeah. Really? All right, the first two new enemies guardians here. Fight, not think. Huh? What? <laughs> oh, I was just thinking out loud, I guess. All right, first up, we got the Wasp. 360 hit points, 540 damage to overkill, weak to ice. Uh, not resistant to magic, so there's an option for you as well, and 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness. So, yeah. Let's bring in Waka, and I'll probably have Kamari do this as well. And, alright, looks like Waka isn't quite able to overkill the uh, wasps right now, but yeah. let's see how Kamari does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> alright, and then we've got the. Uh, Xiphus, or Xiphus. 2700 hit points, 1432 damage to overkill, not resistant to magic, so I'll probably be using uh, Lulu to uh, overkill this. Uh, no weaknesses to elements or anything like that. Uh, Nullify sleep, 20% resistant to silence, and 50% resistant uh, to darkness. Hmm, pardon me. And not resistant to slow at all, so yeah. Also, you kind of do want to overkill these guys because they do drop ability spheres, so yeah. And also, kind of, if the opportunity arises, steal from them as well because they you can get high potions from them. And also mega potions, which is the rare steal. Alright, uh, let's bring in Titus, I guess. Actually, no, let's bring in Yuna first to heal up Riku. And then we'll start working, uh, working the Zephus down. Titus and yeah, Orin. Ow. And then let's bring in Yuna to heal up Titus and then bring in Lulu to hopefully finish it off. There is an enemy in these woods that Kimari can learn his next uh, over uh, blue magic, his next overdrive. So yeah. 
trying to keep my eyes open for that and try to remember to actually lance at it when we run into it. Alright, and then let's just have Lulu use Thundara. Oh, Lulu. <laughs> and her one liners and puns and. Pretty easy to get turned around here, so yeah. And here it is. The Chimera. Lots of stuff to talk about with this, with this guy. Alright, let's see here. Chimera, 5,250 hit points as you can see. Resists fire and water as you can see as well. 1,432 damage to overkill. Not resistant to magic, so there's an, they're probably going to be using Lulu to overkill it. Uh, nullifies sleep and 20% resistant to silence and darkness, which could be useful because he does have a myriad of elemental attacks that he can use, and I do believe, I think all of them, all of them, if not most of them, minus one, or all of them minus one are magic based, so silence could be useful. However, I do have another option. First of all, with regards to these guys, if you want a really easy time dealing with this, switch Titus over to the yellow shield and then have him provoke. And that basically forces the Chimera to only use an attack on Titus, which is, as you might be able to guess, lightning. Uh, lightning attack. So, with Thunderproof on, he'll never be able to do any damage to us as long as we got Provoke on. The one thing you gotta be careful about with Provoke, though, as soon as it hits, well, for one, it can miss, it's just very rare that it does. So, yeah, successful. As long as Provoke is active, do not. You, it's only active for as long as Titus is in the uh, front line. So if you want it to stay that way, uh, leave him there. Kind of. So yeah. And let's Riku. Let's just have him cover steel. And then let's uh, let's get Kamari in to get his uh, overdrive, which is Aqua Breath. It'll come in handy at some point. I have Titus here already, so I must just have him attack while we're here. Well, he's uh, up front. So yeah, there's Thundara, and yeah. Whoops, I actually forgot to do one thing. There's To help this work a bit better, I use no difficulty. Magic Break. If you've got Shell with Yuna, that's another option as well. Both of them have the same result. Chops his uh, magic dealing capabilities in half, so... Let's get Yuna back in and heal up Titus. And we'll have him attack again. Ooh, crit. Alright. Let's bring in Waka. Let's attack. Alright, let's attack again. And this should be enough for Lulu to finish it off. Me. By all means. And there he goes. And yeah, ability spheres too. <laughs> no, not Orin. Wow. Anyways. Oh, still the, it's the same guy we just spoke to up there. Alright. And down here we get 2,000 gil. Alright, and three more new enemies. The Iguian, the Marusu, and the Blue Element. The Iguians are the ones that can petrify you, so yeah. As long as Titus is the first one to go in battle, just take it out and you should be good to go. Iguian's 370 hit points, weak to ice as you can see there, resistant to uh, fire and water. 555 damage to overkill and resistant to magic as well, and 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness. So, just have Titus take it out right away and we're good to go. And then the Marusu. Marusu, 580 hit points, 870 damage to overkill, resistant to magic. And we to fire and thunder, as you can see, and 20% resistant to sleep, silence, and darkness. And also, 
Okay, another one of the enemies along here you might want to consider sealing from because they you can get high potions from them as well. So yeah. And in this case, let's uh, bring in Orin. We should be able to at least kill it and overkill it. All right, awesome. Uh, let's bring in Waka just to defend. Before we go after the outside blue element, uses Waterra. That did a lot of damage to Riku, but that's what we've got Yuna for. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said Kuro is going to be coming useful, <laughs> coming useful with the uh, not just the amount of HP we have, but uh, the fact that we're getting into some going up a step in terms of magic damage. So yeah, let's bring in Kamari. Let's have him. Yeah, I guess technically he doesn't have to do this, but yeah, what the heck? We've already got the Warrior Overdrive mode. And bring in Lulu to finish it off with Thundara. So yeah, the blue element, 1500, 1500 HP, you need to do 2250 damage to overkill it, resistant to, physical, resistant to physical as you might be able to guess, and yeah, the general rules along with elements with the thunder, we did the opposing element, absorbs the actual element, and 20% resistant to silence and not resistant to slow, so yeah. And I think... That might actually be it as far as new enemies in here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Huzzah! I can just edit out the rest of them. All right. Why did I do that? You know, you, 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 you're in the front line. All right, let's continue on. And behind this tree here is three Phoenix Towns. You're wasting our time! As far as those wasps go, because Kimari can actually overkill them, I'm actually going to have him as the primary guy to go after them. Uh, for a couple of reasons. One, just because Kimari can overkill them as opposed to Waka only being able to overkill them, likely whenever he gets critical hit or if critical hit or if he gets a really good roll on his damage roll. And then there's another reason I don't quite want to mention yet, but there are two reasons why. So yeah, just having Kimari being able to, to overkill them or kill them, so yeah. That's how I'm going about that for now. You... have you seen Donna? Donna? Can't say I have. What's up? We got separated on the way here. Damn it all! I've got to find her! Calm down. But, if anything happens to her... Running around in a panic is not going to help. Right now, you have to keep cool and search. But... Guard your emotions, then guard your summoner. You're right. Shall we search? No, I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you, Sir Aran. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to wish him good luck. Hmm. Oh boy. I guess there is one thing I can mention about the second reason, one aspect of the second reason why I'm having Kamari uh, kill, try to kill more enemies with Kamari than Waka kind of thing, or at least have Kamari as the primary with the flying enemies, is just, well, it, quite, quite honestly, it, it straight up feeds into the idea of getting Kamari the Slayer Overdrive mode as well. Waka's already had plenty of time to be able to build up his counter for it, and I'm just trying to get Kamari uh, a little bit caught up as well, so yeah. Just so, just because Kimari hasn't really had much opportunity to uh, kill enemies uh, until we finally got him into the uh, the role of Black Mage, so yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. And yeah, okay, he's got everybody in the right position.
A butterfly with rainbow wings will lead the way to secret things. Now, now, it's okay, dear viewers who are familiar with this. <laughs> Makalani Woods Butterfly Hunt. Approach the butterfly of many hues and its red and blue brethren shall appear. <laughs> Try to catch seven of the blue butterflies, but beware the reds, for they call powerful fiends when threatened. Butterflies dis disappear after a certain time. Try catching the blue butterflies while avoiding the red ones. Yeah. <laughs> there are rewards to... Let's try to avoid those butterflies for now, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Uh, which way is it going? Okay, this way. <laughs> Oop, I almost forgot. This chest, we get a remedy. One note of interest about the Xephos creatures as well, I believe their physical attack can inflict you with poison as well. I didn't get inflicted poison there, but uh, it did crop up in my mind that I think that might be the case, so just heads up with that as well. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, another butterfly. Let's avoid that one too. <laughs> so you saw it change color, so yeah. So yeah, there are two uh, butterflies of uh, many hues, I think as the... Uh, that, uh, Birdman mentioned. All right. Uh, I bet you're wondering what's the difference. <laughs> well, as I kind of started to allude to, there are rewards for doing those quote-unquote butterfly hunts, and I will be. Ooh, looks like we've got some familiar feet up there, so I guess we'll go talk to him at some point as well. But I do intend on getting all of those rewards. Uh, Basically, there's two different bat butterfly hunts, one in the north end there and one in the uh, the, the uh, central area where we ran into that bird that bird creature, the bird person. Uh, so yeah, there are two different butterfly hunts. Each one has their own reward, and I believe if you complete it now, it'll you can get a better item again later on, and then even further down, down the road, we can do it a third time and get another two uh, different... Uh, rewards for doing them. So yeah, I'm going to be attempting to do all... doing all three of them. All three sets. So yeah, next time we'll be uh, heading back and let's see, uh, I'm probably going to be doing the north one. So the uh, the one we just passed up first and then we'll head back and then uh, find it. Well, I'll try to find the closest save sphere and then uh, go from there and then uh, go do the, uh, the, cent the one in the central area. So yeah. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Our first legitimate side quest. I mean, technically you could probably call the Blitzball game, Blitzball side quest, but I call that more of a mini game since it's... I don't know, I guess you could probably... I'd probably say the difference between a mini game and a side quest is... I don't know, I guess... Uh, side quests are not really related to the story, I guess, and mini games, I guess, are part of the story. I don't know. But in any case, this is probably the first... I guess technically releasing the Cactuars is part of another quote-unquote side quest later in the game. But yeah, so... <laughs> this is the first one I think we'll probably be end up completing. So yeah, in, in one go kind of thing. So yeah, next time we'll be heading back to do the butterfly hunts. And before then, let's actually uh, take care of the, the uh, sphere grinning here. And then we'll uh, call it a video. Uh, one of the first thing is that came in came to mind when I when we first got to that point was oh boy PTSD for some viewers. <laughs> uh, and to be honest, when I got back into it again, when I was uh, uh, preparing for the LP, I got to admit I was a I was a bit uh, intimidated as well. So yeah, <laughs> but I managed, and hopefully we will manage. All right. 
that. Ooh, more agility for Titus and MP and looks like Lake Evasion as well. And more defense and accuracy. And one more spot to get him some HP. There we go. And Riku, we got nine of them this time. Wow. Either had some good encounters, we or we had a lot of encounters. Maybe a bit of both. Alright, and Riku, let's move for one so we can get that boost to magic down there before we head into the side area over here to go after these uh, this HP and strength boost. There's only three points of strength here, but eh, it's still worth getting, I find. Even if it's just for the HP that you come over here for, so yeah, and while you're here, you might as well get the strength as well. There you go. And Lulu. You go up there. Some more magic damage and uh, magic defense as well. And then head up into that little area up here to get the uh, HP defense and accuracy. Here and get some more agility. All right, definitely needs more of that. And or another nine. Yosh. All right, and there we go. <laughs> so many empty slots there. Looks like Oren's getting another ability. Awesome. Let's find out what it is. Some evasion, and we get threatened. Kind of like the prov provoke, but instead of it, just basically causes an enemy to freeze in their tracks, kind of thing. Freezes them until their next turn, I believe. So yeah. Some pe some enemies are immune to it or resistant to it and such, but uh, generally it's fairly effective and can be useful in certain situations, I guess. Anyways, all right, you're going up here for the defense and HP as well. Looks like he's on the cusp of learning the Elemra spells. <laughs> there we go, he just needs one more sphere level and he'll have it. So yeah, what do we got first? Oh, sphere out, yeah. Alright, and then Waka. So many levels! And drain ability, basically just when you use it, it's basically your uh, swapping MP for HP, really. To uh, simplify things, I guess. Basically using, I think it's like, you're uh, using MP to cat to use it, and then you get, you drain HP out of the enemy, kind of thing, so yeah. Alright, so we grab these two. Then we're back onto the path and ready to continue on. Alright, and it looks like we're finally done. Alright, so yeah, as I mentioned, we'll be going back into the uh, Amakalani Woods to uh, do those butterfly hunts next time. This is Intrepid83 signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. Liking the video makes it easier for other people to find the video so that they can enjoy it as well. And uh, be sure to hit subscribe and enable notifications to be notified when I upload the next video. And feel free to, to share this playlist with any friends, family, anybody else you think might enjoy it as well. The link is in the video description. Take care, Ooh, and also, as always, well, this probably won't apply to the next, at least the next episode or anything like that, but uh, eventually it will. Comments are welcome, just please keep them spoiler-free and speculation-free for the sake of the people who have not played or experienced this game yet. And there are still are quite a few people who have not, so thank you for your consideration. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one.